All right, hello and welcome. We're here with our nitric oxide release session. This is our basics class. If you're wearing the blood flow bands, we've already added. Um, my name is Sean. I'm going to be guiding you through the session. We've got Diane here. We're moving with us live. We might hear Moose. Hopefully, he's going to be a quiet dog. He should be nice and tired. But nonetheless, we'll be navigating the puppy dog as needed. In the meantime, we're going to come on down to the floor. We're going to get started hands and knees. Initially, we'll warm up our wrists. Do a little cat cow and then we're going to be coming onto our back we're going to be working our hips and our abdomen for like the first six to ten minutes or so so when you're ready go ahead and make your way on down to hands and knees and you are going to want to have a chair available we're going to use the picnic table here for the second half all right so go ahead as you come on down you're going to place your hands on the ground spread your fingers nice and wide and we're just going to make a little gentle circular pattern so draw your stomach in and just gently circle around get a nice little gentle movement through those wrists good when you're ready go ahead and start to swivel the other way nice and soft all right one more time yeah very good replace those hands if you need keep the knees just underneath the hips draw the stomach in and we're going to move into a cat cow next so you're going to lift up think like angry cat back drop the chin in as you breathe out looking down towards your thighs and abdomen and then when you're ready to breathe in, try to breathe in through the nose, softly arch that lower spine, looking up and forward. And that's your rhythm, breathing out. Come back in that angry cat back, lifting up, pushing that spine between the shoulder blades of the sky. And then a nice soft arch, shoulders back and down. Go ahead, twice more. Breathing out through the mouth. Breathing in gently through the nose. And the shoulders down, out of the ears. One more cycle. and breathing in very good after you release there take your time and you're going to make your way onto your back <laughs> which is going to help us as well looks like you're going to cuddle <laughs> yep so go ahead and come on down to your lower back we're going to start with the knees bent and the feet flat on the ground as you come to the floor kind of lift up your torso a bit draw your shoulder blade back and down and we're going to windshield wiper our hips first so go ahead and walk your feet about hip width apart Keeping your head back just nice and gentle. Start to lower your knees to one side, up to center, and then to the second side. Not trying to force anything, just getting a little bit of internal and external rotation through those hips. Very good. Next, we're gonna be working our abdominal draw. Those of you that are familiar with it, if you wanna go right into those heel slides. Otherwise, I'll introduce those heel slides on the second round. So once you, uh, even out your windshield wipers, keep your hips nice and square. And then when you're ready for the abdominal draw, you're gonna imagine you have like a small pillow or a whippy cushion, a little balloon underneath that lower spine. You're gonna draw the stomach in, pushing that lower back against the ground. You wanna feel the belly kind of push out as you draw it back and then start to engage those lower muscles as well of your lower abdomen and pelvis area. You're trying to stop the strain of urine if you had to go to the bathroom. And then anytime you need, just take a break from that position. And then we'll just keep practicing that. Really simple, we're gonna spend about a minute here, another 30 seconds or so, drawing the abdomen back, pushing the low back into the floor. This is a great movement to help prevent low back pain, as well as if you're stiff in that lower spine, oftentimes this will help you to feel stronger because it takes your back from that overarched position into that neutral position. You practice a lot from standing as well, drawing the stomach in. So you let the hips rock away, draw it back in one more time. Try not to hold your breath as you engage all those muscles. And then when you're ready, go ahead and rest from there. Excellent. Short break, we're gonna move into our glute bridge next. So it's gonna start the same. You're gonna rock the hips back, draw the stomach in, and now you're gonna push through your feet and start to raise your hips up off the ground. You just come nice and slow to start. Start to raise up about one segment at a time. Don't try to go as high as pop possible initially because then you're just going to come down nice and slow one segment at a time those of you that are more experienced with this glute bridge if you want to move faster you can those of you that are just warming up your body don't worry about moving too fast here when you come back into that second bridge see if your hips want to rise a little bit higher and then gradually bringing it back down keeping your head and neck nice and neutral head should be resting back on the ground and as those hips start to come a little bit higher, focus on that upper spine, draw the chin into the chest, and then gradually lower down. 
And then pay attention to the feet while we're initially starting to push through the heels as the hips come a little higher. See if you can kind of find the midfoot and even the big toe, pushing your whole foot into the floor. Engage the back of those hamstrings and then gradually lower back down. Maybe one more time if you're moving about a similar pace as I am. Maybe about two to three if you're moving a little bit faster. So hips come up, chin comes in, trying to lengthen through that lower spine. And then as you come back down, go ahead and rest. We're gonna move into a double knee to chest next. Just a little stretch for that lower spine, hugging both legs into the chest and rocking side to side. Again, this is a great exercise to do on your own. Sometimes when you first wake up in the morning, if you feel tend to feel a little stiff in your lower back, take advantage of already being down in your bed and hug those legs in. All right, we're gonna get ready for our second of two rounds. We're gonna rest the feet back down, keeping the knees bent. When we go back to the abdominal draw this time, if it was hard for you to hold that spine neutral, then just focus on holding and releasing as you need. Otherwise, we're gonna to start to add the heel slide. So when you're ready, you're gonna draw the stomach in, push that low back flat, and now start with your right leg. Just barely lift that heel up off the ground, and you're gonna think about sliding that leg out so it comes to a straight position on the ground, holding that belly neutral the whole time, and then you're gonna gently slide that heel back to its starting position. You can give a rest at the abdomen area, and then re-engage, pull the belly in, push that low back into the floor, and now the left leg will slide down, Gently sliding it out, holding nice and strong as you slide it back to the start. How's it feeling, Diane? Yes. Fantastic. Let's get about two or three more on each side. I'm gonna move through two. So we go back to the right leg. Focus to hold that midsection neutral as you're moving that lower leg. Once you finish on the right, on your own rhythm here, move into that left leg. Belly's pushing out while the low back's drawing in. Good. This helps to train your body to hold that neutral position for that lower spine. It's very common. We tend to overarch that lower back when we get kind of lazy or relaxed as we're standing. Our hips tend to roll forward and we lose that engagement. After you even out both sides, go ahead and take a little break. Take about 15 seconds here. You want to kind of rock the knees side to side. Or if you want to get an early start on the second round of glute bridge, you can go ahead and begin. Otherwise, when you're ready, we're going to start that second round. We're going to spend about a minute and a half on this last round. So remember, it starts the same. Belly draws in, low back pushes flat. And then one segment at a time, start to raise those hips up. Try to lengthen through that lower spine as you lift up. And I don't want you to have any kind of pinching sensation in the front of the hip. So slowly lower down. Slowly raise up. And now that we're on round two, if you're feeling strong, if you're feeling smooth, you can start to move just a little bit faster. Good. Very nice. Fantastic. Just over halfway. We're going to take about another 45 seconds. Nice, Amy, keeping those knees driving wide. That's great, Diane. We're focusing on that full foot, pushing down into the floor. Good. The higher the hips come, the more you want to pull that chin into the chest. About another 20 seconds. Uh -oh. You're trying to protect us, but you don't need to. Come on over here. Very good. Final time, five seconds to go. And then once you lower those legs or those <laughs> hips down, go ahead and rest. So up to you. You can return to that double knee to chest that we did at the end of the last round. No or you can go deeper into that spinal twist if you feel comfortable to do so with that two knee twist. Bringing both legs across, turning that head, looking over that other shoulder. Okay. Very good. After that slow back stretch, go ahead and gradually start to roll on over. We're gonna make our way up to standing for the second half of this session. Very good. So however you want to get on up to standing, using your chair, using your bench, we are going to need that chair in this second half. So go ahead and meet me. I'm going to move this a little bit closer because we're going to be on the bench here. All righty. 
Nice work. Those of you that beat me to standing, feel free to go ahead and move into some gentle hip circles. Feet about hip width apart, nice and smooth through those circles, three to five times. And then go ahead and change directions. Thank you for feeding the birds. Yeah, you all have a lovely day. The birds appreciate you. <laughs> all right, we got some friends here that were feeding the birds. All right, everybody, you're going to have some weights available, some nice light weights or a long band. We're going to be doing some biceps curls coming up, but our first exercise is going to be our half squat with the front raise. So if you want to hold a light weight, you can. Round one, I'm just gonna demo without any weights, reaching the arms straight out. So go ahead and set your feet about hip width apart. That position we practice on the ground, draw the stomach in. And then when you're ready, you're gonna start to send your hips back, keeping your eyes up and forward, reaching those arms out, breathing in as you sit back, breathing out as you stand tall, breathing in and breathing out. Very good, back and forth. Whole foot is grounded, just like when we practice that glute bridge, driving down into the floor. Eyes stay looking forward to invite that chest to stay tall. Maybe one or two more. Back, up, and rest. Very nice. We're going to our bicep curls next. So you can either pick up some light weights, hold one in each hand with your palms facing forward, or we can use the band here. I'm gonna stand on the band, palms forward, belly in, and then when you're ready, we're gonna curl the hands in towards the shoulders. Yep. So just elbows at your sides, curl and extend, nice. And while we're focused on this upper body, squeeze that lower body, try to squeeze the glutes, engage the midline, and you can even kind of flex those thighs just a little bit, keep that blood flowing. 10 more seconds, and then we're gonna be sitting down next. We've got our leg extensions coming up next. Three, two, one and rest. Very nice. So as you come to seated, I want you to make a point to not just slouch back on your pelvis, but sit right up on those sit bones. Shoulders back and down, draw your stomach in. Let's start with your left leg, it'll be our right. So you're gonna pick that foot up off the ground and then we're gonna extend the knee. Bend and extend. Good. Breathing in, breathing out. Yeah, this will get a good little pump in those legs. Uh, we've talked about before, I don't have any on today, but uh, I know Amy grabbed some ankle weights at the start of class. So once you feel like you've progressed well with this exercise, if you want an extra challenge, you can start with like a two and a half pound ankle weight. Get a little extra burn there. Go ahead and rest on that side. Take about 10 seconds here, nice deep breath. Readjust that posture, standing tall. And now that your right leg. So pick it on up and here we go. As I extend that knee, we're drawing the toes back towards you. And just make sure to stay strong through the belly. So shoulders back, midline strong, and breathe. It's a fantastic exercise. Obviously, we're targeting our quads, those muscles on the front of the thighs, but also really good for the knees. Anyone that tends to be pretty stiff in the knees, it's help get some good blood flow in there. Up and down, back and forth. You want to keep those joints moving. Two, one, and rest from there. Very good. We're going to come on up to standing. So pull yourself upright. You can either stand against the wall. I'm gonna use the table here. We're gonna do our uh, hamstring curls next. So check in with your feet, toes pointing forward, stomach draws in, and three, two, one, here we go. Bend the foot up and down. Sometimes when you're bending the leg up, the knee will tend to rotate out and away. So keep those toes pointing forward. And then we also want to focus on that support hip. So we don't just want to let that hip kick out. Stomach engaged. You can also practice your balance here if you'd like. Arms out to the side, shoulders back and down. Nice work. A couple more. And, and extend. Now we're flexing that hamstring, working the back of the thigh and rest. Good. 10 seconds in between legs, just a little rock side to side here. Loosen up those hips. It's our last exercise of this circuit. So getting ready for your second leg. Walk those feet back in, draw the stomach in. And here we go, hold on as needed. Otherwise, just up and down. Awesome. Those of you that are working on that balance, palms forward, shoulders down out of the ears. Yep. And just watch that tendency for those hips to kick out. Keep pulling up through the belly. 
And ideally you just lightly touch the foot down and then right back up, almost there, a couple more. And two, one, and rest, nice work. All right, we're gonna go into some rotations next. That's the end of that circuit. We're gonna take about 30 seconds here and then we'll be right back into round two with that half squat and front raise. Lush, don't need to bark at everybody that comes through the park. It's really okay. All right, we're gonna start in 10 seconds. You can stay unweighted. I'm gonna hold a nice light five pound weight this time. So feet about half of the part, draw the stomach in, just a slight toe out. And here we go. Reaching the arms up or maybe a light weight, sending those hips back. Nice. And now this is round two of three. If you want to move this a little bit faster, loose, loose. I promise it's okay. Yeah. Eyes up and forward. Good. Breathe in, breathe out. Down and up. Fantastic. Hey, he's allowed to watch. He's allowed to watch. Good job. Almost there. Three, two, one and transition to those bicep curls so either back to your band i'm gonna hold a little bit heavier weight this time by the each head so i've got a 20 pounder elbows into my sides toes pointing forward and here we go curl and extend thanks for protecting us moose but i promise we're safe here we don't need to bark at the people Moose just turned 11 months last week He's been enjoying the early mornings at the dog parks here in Phoenix. Yeah, buddy. Making lots of friends. 10 seconds left. Make sure those elbows don't start to wing out. <laughs> if I tell stories about you, will you be quiet, Moose? And three, two, one. Take a pause there. Head back to your chair, your bench. We're in round two of those leg extensions. Remember, as you come to seated, to sit right up on those sit bones, right on the edge of the seat, draw those shoulders back. Your left leg first. Here we go. Extend and bend. Yep. Feel free to try to move a little bit faster this round, but still having control of that movement. And as that leg kicks out, pull the foot and toes back towards your body. Nice, Diane. Up and down. Fight for that posture. Good. Breathe out through that hard part. So as you extend the leg, blow the air out. And two, one, take a pause. Woo. All right, second leg, readjust that posture. Draw those shoulders back. Think about lifting your head to the sky. Two, one, begin. Second side. Good. Up and down. Nice. Building the strength in those legs, keeping some muscle tone on our thighs. Halfway through. We are very grateful for these beautiful little overcast skies here in Phoenix these days. I never thought I'd say that growing up in Ohio, <laughs> but hey, everything changes. Two, one, there's our 30. All right, make your way to standing. We're coming into our hamstring curls next. You either stand behind your chair, support on the countertop, or working the balance. Toes pointing forward, draw that stomach up and in, either if you're holding on or not. Let's start with your left leg again. Two, one, here we go. So remember the tendency for that leg to rotate away, keeping it straight forward. If you're working that balance, make sure we don't start to shrug up. Shoulders down, hips level, nice. Good point, Moose, halfway through. Nice job, Diane. Doing great, Amy. Good, couple more. Last one and pause. Good job. We'll take 15 seconds in between sides. Back to a couple hip circles each way. <sighs> Excellent job. All right, walk those feet back in. Your right leg to go. Toes forward and begin. Up and down. Nice. <laughs> Work out that energy, Moose. There you go, halfway through. Eyes up, maybe just a gentle smile on the face. Create that positive relationship with fitness. Let that brain think like, oh yeah, I wanna do this again tomorrow. And rest. All right, nice work. 
Fantastic. We're going to go through the squats and the bicep curls of this next round. And then those of you wearing the blood flow bands, we're going to let out the air before we sit down. And on this round of squats, instead of going that shorter squat, I'd like to see you get all the way down. So if you're not able to get those hips below the knees, hold on to something. I'll be demoing here on the uh, table. If you are able to go all the way down without holding on, then that's great too. You can hold the weight as desired and begin. So sending those hips back, reaching the arms out, trying to get those hips down below the knees or holding on. You can use a door frame, a countertop. It's really important to get that full range of motion. Draw the stomach in, send those hips back. Nice, Diane. And all the way up. Good job. Standing through. Good. We're going to go just a little bit longer on this last interval. Take you through about 45 seconds. So there's 30 seconds right now. Get a couple more reps into that full range. Very nice. Send those hips back. Knees stay tracking out. Last time. And rotate. Awesome work. Bicep curls. You yeah, have got the park to ourselves. All right, toes pointing forward, elbows in tight to the sides. And then as soon as you get there, you, you can begin. Nice. Just a soft bend those knees. I see a lot of people, we tend to hyperextend our knees, kind of get those knees locked out. When we hyperextend our knees, we tend to hyperextend that low back. So start to build that practice of noticing how you're standing. Just that little baby bend of the knees, Draw the stomach in, have your body nice and neutral, less than 10 seconds. And three, two, one, and rest. Nice work. As mentioned, if you're wearing those bands, go ahead and press those little nozzles, release the air, and then join us seated. Coming right to the edge of the seat. All right. Sitting up nice and tall. We'll get started here in just about 10 seconds. Give a little bit longer transition. Get ready to get into sync. All right, you're gonna start on your left leg first. Three, two, one, here we go, up and down. Moving quickly with controls. I don't want you to feel like you're swinging your leg up and forth, up and down. Just extend and bend. Good, long through the neck, proud through the chest. Halfway through. Feel that muscle tense. This is like our, what do we say, Diane? Motion is lotion. That's right. This is the way we can just kind of like work like a little tin woman, tin person, and rest. Use that movement to loosen up those joints. All right, second leg, and then we'll come on up to standing. Draw those shoulders back. Two, one, here we go. So remember that little mantra, motion is lotion. The next time your body feels stiff, Similar to how our skin gets dry, we've got to put some lotion on our skin. We got to move our body, or maybe you need to hydrate your body. Send some lubrication to your joints. 10 seconds. The more we feel strong in our movements, the easier life's going to be. Two, one, and resting there. Nice work. Hopping on up to your feet, pulling yourself up or pushing off your legs. We've got our leg curls, and then we'll have our cool down stretch. Toes forward, stomach drawn in. Start on your left leg first. Three, two, one, here we go. Bend and extend. Get that leg up off the ground. Shoulders back and down. Easy. Ah, halfway. Go to the gym, you have those machines that you can sit down on, but we can also use our body to isolate these muscle groups as well. Couple more. And get ready to switch sides. Short little hip rock side to side. All those little stabilizer muscles are working to hold us upright. All right, getting ready for our last exercise before our cool down stretch. Walk those feet in, draw the stomach in, and second leg. Good. Think about pulling the heel underneath more than you are raising the knee up. So if I raise the knee up, it looks like this. Pulling the heel back looks more like this. There we go. Yep. Halfway through. Stomach still pulled in, everything nice and level. 
Awesome. And three, oops, five seconds. Start a little early. Two, one, and all done there. Nice job. Let's go a little sidestep arm swing. <sighs> awesome job. All right, next we're gonna do our quad stretch. This is that more challenging stretch that we do. So don't be too hard on yourself if you can't quite get the foot, but it helps if you can balance on something as needed. We're gonna look to pick that foot up. We're trying to grab that foot and pull the heel towards the glute. Now, if you're watching me do this and you're like, heck no, lady, that is definitely not something I can do. You can stagger your feet. Those of you doing that quad stretch, stay in it. We got a little about 10 more seconds. Those of you that can't do the quad stretch yet, or from standing, you can just rock those hips and twist your body side to side. Those of you in that quad stretch, two, one, and rest. Good job. Same thing, other side. So switching legs. Again, if you can grab the foot, that's our goal. If you can't get that foot from standing, stagger your feet hip width apart, shift the hip forward, and turn your body away. So we're not so much getting into the quad when we do this, but we do get a nice opening for the hip flexor, which is the quad is one of our hip flexors. Very nice, almost there. Try to squeeze that glue to that trail leg and release. Awesome work. All right, next we are gonna, everyone's gonna go into that stagger stance. So let's go back to the first leg. Your right leg is gonna step back, keeping your feet hip width apart, Draw the stomach down and now take that right hand, raise it straight up in the air, draw the chin in. Keep those eyes looking forward as you bend that elbow as if to try to scratch your back and then pull that arm back behind you, trying to stretch that tricep. Really exaggerate that chest position, eyes up. And then if you feel stable enough to give a little side bend, you're gonna bend your body towards that front leg. Breathing in as you come back to standing, lengthen through your spine, and then bending towards that lead leg once more. Good, third and final time. Breathe in, lift up, and taking it to the side. Beautiful, go ahead and release there. In between sides, a little sidestep arm swing. And then same thing, opposite side. So now be your left leg steps back, feet hip width apart. Left arm reaches up, chin in, ribs down as I bend that elbow. Reaching around, eyes up. You can shift that back hip forward gently and then lean to the side as able. Holding for a couple of breaths. Unwind, deep breath in, squeeze that back hip as you bend to the side a second time. Up. And that third and final time, over and release, fantastic. All right, join me in the chair. We're gonna finish with our figure four stretch. No dance. All right, so for this figure four stretch, you're gonna sit up nice and tall, you're gonna pick up the one leg, draw those shoulders back, and then we're trying to cross that foot over the opposite thigh. You can grab onto that ankle as able, and then we're looking to lower this knee down. Just gently resting that hand there, Draw the chin in. This is a great time. Just close those eyes. If you're stretching your right leg, take the toes of the right foot and draw the toes back towards that same side knee. So kind of like drawing the foot and toes up and back. Feel how that opens the hip a little bit more. 10 more seconds, continue oh, yeah, to really breathe. Works. Yeah, feel a little bit deeper into that hip. And two one and release good job in between sides if you're on the ground for that figure four child stretch in between legs no it's not quite as convenient and then you're sitting on the ground or on the chair with me here reaching down for those toes bowing that head down seated forward fold in between legs Just take about three to five nice deep breaths into your back <laughs> try to expand the back of that rib cage On that next breath, walk yourself back up and then we'll balance out the other side. Sitting tall, good boy, Moose. Cross that other leg over, pulling that foot up, lowering that knee down and resting the hand on the knee this side. Good, we're gonna hold this side for 30 seconds. Remember to draw the toes, probably your left leg, draw the toes and the foot back towards the knee on your left side. Just relax those eyes and take about another 20 seconds here. In through the nose out through the mouth, 
Focusing in on your breathing helps you to come into the present moment. Let go of all those kind of like disorganized thoughts that kind of tend to run through our brain. One more breath. And out. Fantastic. Go ahead and pull that leg up and in. Set that foot on down. And then we'll do our final three breaths together. So sitting nice and tall. Bring those hands together in front of your heart. As you breathe in, we're going to raise the arms up to overhead. Try to stretch up out of those hips. As you breathe out, just lower those arms down to the sides. Good job. Twice more. I invite you to close those eyes. Breathe in some positive energy, some peace, some love. Send it out. Ah, release all the worry. Fantastic. Last time. Breathe in some joy, some harmony. Ah, let go of all the conflict and tension. All right, everybody. Give yourself a little round of applause. Thanks so much for showing up, moving your body. Look forward to moving with you next time.